Repeat that again. Yeah. Well, what so like, you know the happens? cue for the bracing, right? Right. When you brace squeeze, your core, brace your squat, squat, big air, push yeah, it yeah. out. Yeah. And so, so what I found that when they run, they run slower. Mm-hmm. When they bench, they bench slower. When they do anything, the, fu- the it's it's not normal. That's not how I truly believe that when you're holding weight, let's say I'm holding 400 pounds on my back, your body's holding that the way that it should. And if you get the right hip extension pattern, then the body to move that weight will actually turn on correctly the right way throughout. Mm-hmm. So it braces itself the exact amount, nothing more, nothing less. Mm-hmm. But you have to make sure that you have the right patterns uh, going. So that helps. Right. So, so this is so this to really is connect that. The, yeah, w- yeah. You're connect. You're you're not saying be unstable and totally be loose and out yeah. of control. What you're saying is, don't get the stability from going through your stomach. Right. Yeah. Get it from squeezing the yeah. hell out of your glutes. Well, so you start there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Start there. Yeah. Kind of, it'll go up because you want to get the base of the hips right. to stabilize, right. and then the whole back stabilizes well, right. The right. Well, row. yeah. And a lot of people think that core stability is just your your Rectus midsection. Abdominis. No, yes. it's yeah. not. It's all, like,